Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the US dollar index for Thursday, March 24, 2011. Well, the markets continued with the uh, trend to the upside today. We have a candle that's made a higher high and a, a higher low. However, we have a red body candle and that red body denotes the sellers making net and bearish progress on the day between the open and the close and that's in contrast to the previous day's candle which was a relatively large green body where the buyers made net bullish progress. So a change of progress, a change of the net flow in this market in uh, the short term dynamics of the bulls and the bears over the uh, current day and that does set the market up for a potential change of trend. Now, um, having said that, however, we do have, a, a, it's a spinning top type candle with a slightly larger shadow on the bottom. The larger shadow on the bottom represents the buyers losing commitment and the shadow on the top represents the sellers losing commitment. So the buyers actually lost more commitment than the sellers did. So that is a slightly positive sign uh, for uh, price appreciation, but not not a terribly strong signal because both sides lost um, commitment and that really does mean a very indecisive type candle. The uh, sellers uh, were only able to close the market in the middle of the range too so that means that neither side took control of this market. So that does raise some doubt also about continuation of the trend to the upside but also raises doubt about whether there will be a change of trend to the downside. Now the market did find resistance at 76 and that will be an important test for this market if the trend is going to continue to the upside. Down below there we do have uh, good solid support around 75.50 and we can see that the uh, last two candles appreciated from those areas so we should be looking to those areas. Uh, with regard to the potential for a change of trend we should be looking to the low of the current candle for a potential change of uh, trend to the downside with a lower high and a lower low. If that we do see that change of trend, look to support at the swing low around 75.25 and then certainly down to 75, which is, should be a solid area of support for this market. Now the market is trading a fair way down below the cloud, so the market has an overall negative bias. Is trading a fair way down below the cloud, so continued price appreciation wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be uh, impossible as the market attempts to... Uh, trade back towards the mean in the longer term that's represented by the cloud. The market is also trading below the Kitchen Sen and Tenken Sen, which means that we have a bearish market in medium term and fast term time frames. The Tenken Sen, the fast line that's uh, represented by the green line, is pointing down fairly sharply, reflecting downside momentum in this market once again, and that could be quite important to this market. Now, if we look previously where uh, the market has appreciated and tested the resistance around the tank and when we have downside momentum that's where the market will test to and you can see here on one two three previous occasions that the market found resistance at that, those areas so if the market does trade up in the next trading day we should look to 76 14 and a half to act as an area of resistance for this market and, and offer potential for the market to uh, trade off from those levels looking at the kitchen sand that has begun to point uh, flat and quite often when that happens we tend to get price appreciation back towards there and that represents the mean in the medium term time frame and the price action moves back towards there so that's what we've seen uh, for the last couple of days trading price action reverting back towards that mean and there is potential for that to continue on while that kitchen sand is flat so we do need to watch the high of the current candle and these areas of resistance for a potential uh, uh, price appreciation up to around those areas. Now just looking at the um, Kijun Sen and the Tenken Sen, the Tenken Sen is trading down below the Kijun Sen, confirming the, the bearish price action in the market and the Chikka Span is trading below the price action as well and that represents a, um, a confirmation of the bearish um, 
overall bias in this market. So a bearish market, an indecisive type candle, there is potential for a change of trend to the downside, but we do require confirmation. Although a continuation of the trend to the upside would not surprise, but look for resistance close by. Mm -hmm.